So we are talking about this recommendation by the Court of Appeal this week to lower the age of sexual consent from 18 to 16 in Kenya. It's a conversation I think we need to have. As a parent, are you going to be coming across from a biased point of view? Is there a reality that we are in denial of? What inspired this recommendation by these learned judges? That's my question. Because it's worrisome. It's, it's, it's worrying, isn't it? Douglas Sipler, let me just go to your tweets. Douglas Kipler, you're saying, if that's the guess, then things are turning south. I don't know what they're looking at. 16, that's the child. It's not debatable at all. And as parents, you should never accept. We don't even demonstrate. Moshangi Vincent is saying, no wonder we've got cases of dropout due to pregnancy so early. Kelvin Watoke is saying, where live there is this group of school kids? The things they plan and do only God knows. And they are day scholars. I have no opinion on the age of consent, but drinking and driving years should be increased to 21. Charles Manny is saying, nowadays even a child of six years knows everything. She can even seduce an adult. Kanga Justin Kanga saying judges were right. I'm a parent. Don't get me wrong, but it's a reality. At four, these kids know what we knew at 15. Try telling a three-year-old a child is bought. Atakucheka sana. Incredible. Kakadan, you're saying, you know, I don't understand where we're headed to as a nation. Instead of reducing the retirement age, they're busy reducing the age of consent? This is an issue we're not going to sweep under the carpet. So the earlier that you talk about it, the better. Uh, morning to you, sir. Yes. Sir, after you, my name, I have to say that 16 is not going to sana. Hey. 14 is your size. I have to say that 14 it could have been better. Why? What, what, what's inspiring your thinking? No, no. You, you, you know, we are running away from the reality. The world has changed. I have to say that 16 is not going to be Yeah. Yeah, hapo, 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 naona 14, it could have been better off. Tuambia neni ukweli. So, tunajidanganya? Eh? Yeah. Tunajidanganya? Eh, hapo, 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 tunajidanganya, tukisema mambo ya 16. 14, ya hata mtu wanajua everything, virtual everything. Wow. Asante. Asante sana, wow, hello. Where are the mothers? Oh, Marina, how are you? Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. I wouldn't blame them for wanting us to reduce the age to 16. Yeah. Because unfortunately, actually kids, even from the ages of nine, are already indulging into sex. Yeah. I am a teacher by profession. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you talk to these kids in class, you find that they already know everything. But uh, reducing the age to 16 is not the right decision to do. We just need to empower our kids and give them knowledge. Because now, the problem is when we tell them, don't do it. And when they go and try, they find it is the best thing that has ever been denied to them. So as a teacher, yeah, what is the average age that they start indulging in sex? At least 18. No, I'm saying not your recommendation. Uh-huh. From your experience dealing with them, how early do they start? Even nine years. In uh, my class, I have three kids who've already indulged into sex. Nine years. Nine years? Yes. And I talk to them and they have already started doing it. And you know, when, when you ask them, they say that they were never told it's wrong. So who are they engaging in sex with these nine years old? Of course, they are fellow students. They're just classmates. Those are girls. Yes. <laughs> girls and boys, they're already doing it. And there's one who is 12 years who said that she has sex with an uncle. Every day she goes back home after doing homework with the uncle, they have to go and have sex. And I asked her if the mother knows, if the father knows, and she said the uncle told her if she ever tells that secret to anybody, she will never continue having fun. Wow. So we need to empower these kids. We need to allow the teachers to talk to these kids and give them knowledge because knowledge is power. Otherwise, if you are told, don't do this, and then you go and try it, minor, and you find fun in it because we tell them that it is not a right thing to do. And when they go and try it, minor, surely, they find fun in it. 
But these are still kids. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That is incredible. Three nine-year-old kids? Nine? Okay, you've heard from Walimu. What about you? What's on your mind? Incredible. And I'm finding it so hard and we, we just have refused to talk about this. We have refused. And I think tomorrow we need to talk about the role of parents. When do you sit down and talk to your children? By the time a nine-year-old gets onto a bed with an adult or with a classmate, there's something that's broken down there and I totally lay no, the blame no, no. at the feet of parents. No, no. Towards us, yeah, po. Ile pressure uh, I don't, yeah, I don't give we, me about we, pressure. We, we you see, don't tell me about pressure. You don't talk to your kids. And don't try and create an excuse here. We have tried. You've not tried. Okay. You've not tried enough. Ile pressure was as it your nine-year-olds are engaging in sex. The hell are you doing? Ile pressure I don't care honestly. about pressure. We have a lot of. Pressure. I don't care about pressure. Do you understand me? Read my lips. I don't care. You are going to kill us. We have a lot of pressure. Just do what you have to do. This is crazy. It's madness. It's madness, parents. We are trying all we can. You cannot tell me that you're taking your kids to school to learn about sex. Get the hell out of here. Kelvin Otoka, good morning. You got your tweet saying these kids hide behind the gospel concerts. That's where the sex orgies go on. Don't be fooled as a parent. Age of consent should be lowered. Barack Ferguson, you're saying, I wish one of the judge's kids would be impregnated to know how it feels. But we do have an issue. Mutua Douglas, Kelvin Mutua Douglas saying the food we take today, hormones grow faster than ever before. 14 Ikosawa, even 12. Liz Munai, you're saying, we should not be debating this at all. We should be firm and let our kids grow. True, Liz. But who's talking to them? When you start, Who's talking to them? If you start shifting the blame to the parents. That's exactly. Tomorrow we're going to be apportioning the blame here because there is blame. B-L-A-M-E. It's there, sitting in the middle of the room in very big font. Capital letters. Who's going to pick up that package? pressure was as work on now. First of all, to place food on the table. You know, if you say that once again, you're coming across as a very bad example of a parent. That's what you're coming across at. As. Hello. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Is that classic? Yes, it is. Hello, good morning. No, Maina. Yes. I work for an organization called Women Fighting AIDS in Kenya. Yeah. And uh, one of the work we do is uh, talk about sexuality. Yes. I'll say comprehensive sexual education. Yeah. To young people. Yeah. That is ages 10 to 24. Yeah. To tell you the truth, we have 9-year-old, 13-year-old having sex. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. we need to package it as age-appropriate. As they get older, they need to know how to deal with issues around sexuality, communication, and all that. When, when the judges decided to reduce the consent age, I doubt it's for them, for the young people to actually engage in sex. It's for them to be able to reach out to facility, to facilities and have, you know, services. The youngest girl who got pregnant in Kenya was nine years old. It was in the media. Who impregnated her? That's my question. I don't know. But this is, this is the reality. Because most of them are having sex with either their peers, with adults, who should then be jailed? Because that is called defilement. You cannot have sex with a minor. But for them to access sexuality education, I mean, uh, comprehensive, um, I would say services, SRH services, then they have to have age of consent so that they are not restricted. They are not denied the services from the facility because a 13 year old who is already engaging in sex cannot be, cannot access services at the facilities unless she has an adult. So let me ask you a question. Not reach the age of consent. Can I ask you a question? Yes. What do you recommend should be the age of consent? 
I would like to agree that at 15 year old, any person should be allowed to go and access services at the facility. At 16? It can be just HIV testing. It can be information around uh, sec- uh, comprehensive sexual education. And they shouldn't be denied because it's already, there's so much in the media. There's so much they're getting online. There's so much they're getting from their peers. Okay. This is nuts. This is madness. How are we intending to just sweep this under the carpet? How? Seriously, how? Hiya. Okay, talk to me now that you're hearing this. What's going through your mind? Uh, so we continue our morning conversation. The Court of Appeal recommending the age of sexual consent be lowered to 16 in Kenya. And there are, there's a lot of support for it. You know, me, me, what I just want us to have is a conversation. And I think th- the child is being failed by so many people. The child is being failed by the very people who are supposed to mold them. Because it's just not enough time. Everyone's on the hustle. Teachers are on the hustle. Parents are on the hustle. That leaves this child with only that idiot who's there to take advantage of her. And it's crazy. Shiko Simon, go to your tweet, saying, My thoughts are that sex education should be done more to our children. Saying our kids know much is not a solution. We are adding fuel to the fire, and I totally agree. Monique Kims, you're saying lowering the consent age to me doesn't make any sense, but for sure it'll worsen everything. Parenting needs wisdom, because kids also decide what to do. Your job as a parent is only to guide them on the right path. May God help us. John Mungay saying, that is madness of the highest order. How can people sit and agree to kids of nine years having sex? Felix Sotini is saying, my parents are to blame for kids' bad behavior. First, the environment they provide. My parents never kissed or even hugged in front of my eyes. I had to learn how to kiss at 20. That's a very interesting point, Felix. Hugging then, kissing each other in front of the children. I think we need to discuss this further tomorrow because this is one issue that if we do not handle right, we are watching a tinderbox about to blow. Morning, brother. Hello, good morning. Hey, hey, my God. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And you? I'm very okay. Where have you been? Just around, just around, my friend. Wow. Trying to handle. Hearing your voice is the best thing ever. Good morning and Thank welcome. You. Thank you, brother. Yes. Maina, is it me who did not hear it right? Or did I hear somebody say that we should uh, uh, empower our children? Yes, that you've heard. You heard right. Empower them to do what? That beats me. So at what age do they finish uh, school? At 18. I mean, Exactly. That is when then we would think of anything to do with them. Please don't fire Kinyani so much when he talks about the, the problems, the pressure that parents have. It is true. And now if, you, if this age is to be brought anywhere else, I even had somebody saying 12, dear Lord, do they even have chicken? That they are talking now about children? It is unbelievable that anybody can think anything like that. We should just think about sticking it at 18 as it is. And when we see these few ones that are trying to engage in, in sexual things, as they are saying it, we should just know that there are those rotting seeds that are there everywhere in life, in, in anywhere. You will always have some uh, wazimu anywhere. And that's them. We cannot crucify all the kids and say that they are all like that, that they start at nine. No. For God's sake, we think about this right and leave it as it is. When they finish with school, they want to do whatever they want to do, let them do. It's fine. But at 12, ah, yes, the global warming is happening, foods are changing, but my God, our kids are still the same. They might look big, but deep in there, they're still the same. 
Because even when they finish school, minor, we all know, some of them are tiny. They don't look like they should even be allowed to have an ID. So, sorry, it's a long time since I've spoken to you, but today I could not leave without uh, talking to you about this one. Okay. You have a good day, brother. And it's so nice hearing from you. Have a great day. Hi, Maina. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. You know, I don't understand. Yeah. We, okay, fine. We are, we are in denial. But let me tell you something. This, a girl who is uh, 16 and below. Yeah. Those girls are not mature enough. She could be physically showing like she's uh, tall, fat, whatever. And she looks mature. She probably even looks like 18. But that does, does that mean that she's, uh, her upstairs is um, developed, fully developed? No. Maina, I tell you something. I remember was on, when I was in uh, class 7. Yeah. There was, and those are years back. I'm a parent now. Yeah. There were three girls and they were pregnant. And I've never forgotten up to now. And you know what, Maina? We all knew what those girls were doing. We all knew about all this, uh, um, whatever, about sexuality, relationship. Yeah. We all knew it. But did that mean that we get into it? Did it mean that we have it also because other girls are doing it? We all knew. And those were the 90s. So, you know, when they talk about uh, girls getting that the consent age should be reduced to 16, I, I don't understand. Because I, when I look around, the biggest problem we also have and we don't want to accept is that we have a number of pedophilias in this country. There are so many adults who are sleeping around with these young girls. But the biggest problem I have is adults playing around with these girls and taking advantage. Because I still remember, I still recall, some of those girls who even got pregnant, the people who made them pregnant were adults. And those ladies were still not developed. I hear, in fact, I remember there's one of them. She still lives in the village. She has like 10 children now. So when you talk about reducing the age of the, to 16 years old, you know, we, these girls will not be going to school. Early in the morning, they'll be going for some, some to give some, to entice some guy. And you will see the rate of prostitution will even go up. The girls who will be practicing prostitution in this country will be 16 years. And even the ones who are 14 will be yearning to get to 16 so that they can also start to be, to enjoy what their girls, the, the other friends are, are doing. So I refuse it completely. What we should have even as parents is we educate. We speak to our children. We speak to the kids as they're growing. And you speak to them as early as even five years old. You start seeing the child can understand a number of issues. You start talking to them at that age. And with that, they will have the knowledge. They will know some things are not even suitable for their age. And at the end of the day, we live till, we are how old? Some people live till 50, others live till 80. So you'll start having 16 from 16 years old still 18. I mean, come on. Let's get serious. We need to develop these children to be mature, to to build a country, not to start indulging with intercourse seriously. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Wow. You know, the good thing here is we are having a conversation. We are engaging in it. That's the most important thing. So why don't you collect yourself and have the final word, huh?